Hi, Rich from Colorado Paratech again. Today we're going to take a quick look at the new version of the E-Probe, the E-Probe 2.0. Uh, it's been redesigned, a little more streamlined, uh, much more stable, and uh, a delight to use in the field. Uh, okay, well let's fire it up and see what it'll do. Okay, one of the first changes in uh, the E-Probe design is the new 180 degree rotating antenna. So you can use it stationary, like a pod type device, or you can use it handheld. And another neat feature, which you can put a, a contact lead onto it and touch another metal object, and that object now will be the probe for you. It's now the base of the antenna. Okay. And the lead is included with the e-probe now. So, let's fire up the e-probe. When you first start it, you need to let it sit for about 20 seconds to calibrate itself. And when it's ready to go, it's ready to go. And as you can see, it's pretty sensitive. You don't have to touch it exactly. Once it's set, you got about a half inch to an inch to play with. Okay, usually it's a good idea if you're going to use this handheld to actually turn it on in your hand and let it calibrate to you. Okay. See when it's handheld. It's much more sensitive. Need a little bit more range out of it because it's actually using your body as a grounding plane and you're part of the antenna system. Okay, now some of the other features here, and turn it off, we'll go back to stationary mode. Very simple design, really. Um, Okay, now this is the switch to turn the speaker off. So this way, if you just want lights, you don't want the beeping. If you're doing, say, an EVP session and you need all quiet, or if you want to have the audio alert, push the switch down. And then you have both sound and lights. Now, it's usually a good idea if you're going to, uh, not a good idea, if you're going to connect this to, say, a metal object, And you want to turn it off first. And when you turn it back on, it will calibrate to the object that it's connected to. Now sometimes it will beep a little bit while it's calibrating. And just let it finish. And then it's ready to go. And now, if you approach the object, it is now part of the antenna system. So you can use trigger objects. And as you can see, it increases the sensitivity quite a bit, so sometimes it will have to reset itself. Now, it's always a good idea when you're changing modes, if you're going to use the trigger object, turn it off, connect the lead, to the antenna to the trigger object then turn it back on and usually handheld same thing if you're going to use it handheld turn it off then turn it on allow it to calibrate itself to you and then you should be ready to go okay now another thing is what this is not. This is not. This is an E field detector. This detects minute amounts of electricity, um, usually in an E field. In other words, free floating electricity, not static electricity. Static electricity is a different thing. Now, I've, I've rigged a little cheap static detector here so you can see the difference. Static electricity does not affect the E probe. Now, the problem with static electricity is it floats all over the place. And a static detector will pick up 
uh, static electricity, you know, five feet, ten feet away. Um, so it's impossible to pinpoint where that static electricity is. You can do something as simple as, let's see if we're, okay, get this thing to turn on. Okay, so now the static electricity detector is on. Now, you can do something as simple as rubbing, uh, walking across the carpet, combing your hair, running your fingers through your hair, and that will cause static. As you can see, the light goes out as the static approaches it. However, static does not affect the EPRO. It, it detects electronic fields and disturbances in electronic fields, not static electricity. So really, there's a lot of controversy about static electricity, and we haven't found it very useful, actually. It's impossible to pinpoint. This is just a weak example. But if you're walking across the carpet or combing your hair, touching other static charged items, you, you'll, increase the, you'll increase static in your own body. Um, and you can affect a static detector from quite far away. So, so static electricity does not affect the e-probe. It's not a static detector. It's an e-field detector. It detects minute electronic fields surrounding usually living organisms um, or supposedly paranormal entities. Yeah, let's turn off the static detector. If any of you guys want to know how to make one of these, just let me know and I'll throw something up on YouTube. Static detectors are easy to make. Okay, so there you have it. This is a quick look at the e-probe and I'm setting it off. Now it also has the attractive rubber case, which uh, basically just gives you a little protection for the unit. Take that off carefully, so not to pop the switch here. Okay, battery compartment in the rear. Simple as that. Changing batteries is a snap, although these will run quite some time on a single 9 volt battery. We get several investigations before we have to worry about changing these, and we run them all night. And there you have it, the new EPRO 2.0 E-Field Detector. Simple but elegant.